So we, uh, well, let's see, in 2000, no, 1993, is when I first decided something's wrong here. This just doesn't feel right, and, and I, I left the church. And I just wanted to put it all behind me. I went off like this ant, off on my own, to find out who I really was. And I, I lived for several years like that, uh, kind of in a mild state of depression that I wasn't aware of until looking back on it. Uh, and it wasn't until 2002 that I bumped into another ant who had also left. And actually, it was a, it was a group of ants. I'm going to continue with the metaphor. And, and I started to feel this sense of community again as we started talking to each other. Uh, and that's, that's an interesting point right there, too. If, let's say, a bunch of these ants leave uh, to go find themselves, they're not going to be able to find themselves, who they really are, and still they start talking to each other, because that's what they do. And in the course of talking to each other, they start to discover who they are as a community. Uh, um, so, uh, the post-Mormon community basically has grown out of some of these ants sort of bumping together and starting to talk and starting to, to discover who they are. And it's gone from you know, a handful of people that helped start it to we're approaching 4,000 members now. And I submit that I think in most cases a person who leaves the church can't really fully work through the process and discover who they are outside of the context of community. I may be wrong, but I think that's probably the case because we are social creatures. We, we, you know, some guy can live as a hermit up in the mountains, but, but generally speaking, we have to exist within the context of community. That's when we're, that's when our, we are happiest. So, um, that's really the point I, I, I really wanted to make in my talk. I don't want to take a lot of time because I think there's, there's some really interesting talks coming up here. Uh, our, uh, our strategy, I guess you could say, uh, for the last few years has been to create this website. In fact, our, our mission statement, it, it's not we're here to, to create a community and mold a community and that sort of thing. Our mission statement says, um, the purpose of the post-Mormon community is to provide and maintain systems that facilitate the growth and development of a safe and supportive community for those who leave or are considering leaving the church. So our goal, our purpose is to make the tools available for people to be able to talk like, like the ants. So this community can form and we can discover together who we are as former Mormons. And that's, uh, that's our mission, and I think that's going to remain our mission for a long time. It seems to be working. Uh, it seems to be helping fill the need. Um, the, other, the other part of our strategy is uh, it's one thing to get a website up. It's another thing to get people to come to it. So we decided to, do, to advertise, and, and we found the most effective way to advertise is through billboards. And over the last, we, we got our first billboard up in March of 2007, had a really active year 2000, in 2007. Uh, we now have had uh, 10 or 11 billboards up, I can't remember. So we've, we've invested about, I think, almost $20,000 in billboards over the last, uh, maybe 15000 over the last uh, couple of years. And it seems to be a really good combination. We found that, you know, you can, you can buy an ad in the newspaper, uh, we, could be, we could buy a full page ad in the newspaper and it won't be as effective as a billboard because a full page ad in the paper runs one day and you know it's, it's chucked in the recycle bin and it's forgotten but a billboard's up for 30 days typically um, and then what's really cool we discovered when we, when we got our first few billboards up is the local news media wants to do a story about it and that's where we really get some good publicity and so that's, that's the strategy we, we have used, that's the strategy we're going to continue with. Um, and it seemed to be working, I guess. So anyway, that's, that's my talk. I, uh, that's uh, what I wanted to say. I'm really 
thankful to see you all here, and uh, hope to talk to many of you afterwards. All right, thanks.